it's very well known that um, cancer will not happen without mutation and that almost every single cancer is different because of the myriad of mutational processes that are happening within the tumor cells themselves. And so, for instance, even if you look at tumors um, histologically, they're all different. Every single tumor is different. And so what I'm interested in is um, looking upstream at what the mutational processes are that actually make all of these mutations with the ultimately with the goal of uh, defining those processes and stopping the mutations from happening. And if we can do that, the general idea is that we should be able to slow tumor evolvability, anti-evolution drugs, and make existing compounds, um, which in many cases, existing therapies are fantastic, but they're often failing due to drug resistance mutations. So the mutational process that I've helped define over the last several years is, is called Apobec. And in fact, Apobec is a, a family of enzymes, but two in particular are contributing to cancer mutagenesis one called Apobec-3B and another called Apobec-3H, and a specific variant of that called Haplotype 1. And so Apobec-3B uh, and Haplotype 1, Apobec-3H, um, combine to generate this massive contribution to the overall cancer mutation load um, that we see by sequencing. And so today I talked about, um, I reviewed some evidence for Apobec-3B in cancer mutagenesis. I showed the latest data demonstrating that Apobec-3H um, is an important contributor and that one can especially see its mutagenic contribution in the absence of Apobec 3B uh, because there are actually people on this planet that lack the Apobec 3B gene completely and so one can look at their cancers and ask um, what the overall mutation load and pattern is and then ask is the Apobec signature there and I should probably define Apobec signature at this point because um, mutations come in all sorts of different flavors uh, they can be base substitution mutations, they can be big, large chromosomal rearrangements and amplifications and um, you know, even full chromosome gains and losses. As long as it's a heritable change in the DNA, it's a mutation. And so apobec signature mutations are defined as cytosine to thymine or cytosine to guanine changes that happen within specific motifs, usually TCA, TCG, or uh, TCT, okay? So that is an apobec signature mutation. And in some cancers, like cervical cancer, it's 90% of all mutations. And in other cancers, like breast cancer, depending on the tumor, it can be a very large fraction of all the mutations too.